What's up, everybody? It's your boy Doo Dog with Doo Dog Reviews. First of all, I want to give a massive shout out to Life with Brock. Y'all check him out on Instagram, Life with Brock, and also on YouTube if you're into that custom kind of thing. But he actually sent me the link directly to the Walgreens website when these bad boys went up on pre order. And I just want to give him a massive shout out. So, yeah, here we go. This is the, for me, much anticipated. Um, Obsidian Surfer. If you know the storyline with Cosmic Ghost Rider and all of that good stuff, man, this is... I, first of all, I want to tell y'all, check those comics out because it's worth the read. It comes with a few accessories. comes with these two flame effects. If you remember, I'm pretty sure they're the same color also as the Walmart exclusive Black Panther from a couple of years back. comes with two fist hands. comes with two open grip pans kind of weird that he doesn't come with the open splaying kind of uh flying hands that the original walgreens exclusive surfer came with but oh well they didn't so of course you got the board thankfully i know a couple of folks on the last silver surfer from a couple years back they actually uh didn't have the board with them so obviously that's a factory mistake but right here this guy looks great this is a, a prime example of um just a, a great simple figure that just looks incredible for what it is of course he comes with Mjolnir there again if you want to read the comic go ahead and do that you're not going to be disappointed really awesome read King Thanos Cosmic Ghost Rider all of that good stuff so right here we've got the basic new buck that this guy's on this pretty much took over the uh, Bucky Cap, which this has been out a few years. I'm not going to go over articulation, man. If y'all been watching anybody's Marvel Legends reviews, same thing. This is just an, a massive, uh, an amazing upgrade. Butterfly joints, all that good stuff. Just a really good example of the paint apps are so simple, but it just does this guy justice. This looks really, really good. So honestly, the only paint is literally the eyes, um, white eyes and then the black um eyelids or eyebrow i don't know it's kind of got that uh jack kirby look to it holds mirror mill near really well so that's always a good thing it was surprising that these hands were a little difficult um to remove so you might want to heat yours up wasn't a crazy big deal just you just got to know that you know i don't want you to break anything on accident or something but uh obviously the fist pops in just like that really cool this is one of those figures that's a great example of if you're going to do a uh, you know the same mold or remake or whatever this is how you do it man it's so simple so basic but yet looks absolutely incredible look, look at that gunmetal gray that he's molded in and look how the lights uh from my camera and all that just kind of reflect i mean this guy's detail even with zero paint apps but it's the way the light reflects on him that that's really really cool I uh, wanted to show you guys, I don't think I've ever shown y'all here on YouTube, my custom, uh, I'm pretty proud of it, I don't consider, it's more of a kit bash, I guess you could say, because I didn't do any sculpt, did a little bit of paint, but this is the uh, Gladiator Surfer I took a few years ago when the Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer came out, went ahead and made this guy, just kind of kit bashed him, threw a few little things on him, little armored parts from the old, old Hasbro, I'm talking way back in the day early Hasbro Silver Surfer. Uh, yeah, so basically ripped that one apart, made this one, painted the arm, and boom, you have a modern take on that figure. So let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Hit the thumbs up. It's your boy Doodog.